Boom! What's up internet, Josh Miles here and today we're talking about the difference between communicating your personal brand with the megaphone or the wedge. Your 59 second Friday is up next. Welcome back internet friends. It is great to have all of you back here. We're talking again today about personal branding. Surprise! Today we're talking about the difference between the megaphone or the wedge, which is a concept that was first introduced to me by Win Without Pitching coach Blair Enns, who also wrote the book, The Win Without Pitching Manifesto. I also talk about it in my book, Bold Brand 2.0. You should check that out. Maybe we can uh, link to that down in the comments. Okay, so here's the basic idea. You've got Pac-Man number one and Pac-Man number two at a networking event. Now, Pac-Man number one is a bit of a blabbermouth and likes to do the classic show up and throw up. Nobody likes throw up. He's gonna tell you everything about everything he's ever done over that very first cocktail weenie, and it's really annoying. The only thing Pac-Man number two is ever gonna remember about Pac-Man number one is never talk to that guy again if I'm at a networking event. Now what if you flip this around? What if Pac-Man number two gets the chance to communicate his story first, but instead of hitting Pac-Man number one with everything he's ever done, he leads with only the sharpest, pointiest bit, the one thing that's gonna break through and actually be memorable. Then Pac-Man number one has a chance to ask more questions and say, well, what about this? And who do you do it for? And how long have you been doing it? And what industries do you work in? Before you know it, Pac-Man number two has literally had a chance to share all the same number of bullet points as Pac-Man number one did. He's invited into that conversation and he's not just dumping on you. So remember, when it comes time to share your pitch and what makes you unique, lead with that one thing that makes you different. Now, isn't that better? Now, when it comes to how do you identify that, we're gonna talk about that in future videos. But for now, remember, this whole example isn't just in networking. This also is on your website, it's on your brochure. Anytime that you lead with everything instead of the main thing, you are doing the show up and throw up. Don't use the megaphone, make sure and leverage the wedge. Next week, we'll be back with another personal branding tip. Hope that was helpful today. All of you who've been around for a while know what to do. Make sure and hit like and subscribe down below if you're not already subscribed. And if you are, hit that bell to get notified when new episodes come out every Friday. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. What am I forgetting? Uh, maybe show up and throw up. What? <laughs>